of my crowd in white to be from Korea, leaving some through. In blue to be from Mongolia, the world's medal is for the black gold cup this year. From Mongolia, from Mongolia. There you go. Of my two. Confirmation there from the stadium announcer with regard to uh, what's happening here. I think I'm going to let him make all the announcements. You can hear everything that's going on, so why not? Well, we're underway. This is uh, Lee and uh, Otkan Batar in the first of the bronze medal matches. Lee in the white jadogi, Otkan Batar in blue, and uh, they have a quite, um, I don't know, what would you call that, uh, spirited exchange, where uh, Lee was on his back defending on Otkan Batar was trying to press forward and it was all very frantic with uh, hands and feet flying around. I think uh, Otkan Batar probably caught one of um, Lee's feet on the cheek. He got one in the chest there. Unintentional, just a little bit uh, high spirits. Anyway, there's uh, no score. We'll get back uh, underway. First minute has, uh, has gone already. Strong effort there from Otgan Bata, right sided with the shoulder throw. Lee trying to come back with his own. But uh, a nice strong block by the Mongolian in the, uh, the blue jinogi. He's got his right foot heavily strapped up with a what I always think is a rather unattractive looking heavy black bandage. I don't know why, but it uh, just seems to look uh, slightly out of place. I'm sure it does the job, which is the most important thing. Black and white. I suppose you've got that creamy kind of looking uh, uh, bandage from time to time. I don't think the colour has got... Uh, anything to do with whether it's effective or not so maybe that's the only thing to be concerned about hopefully it's uh, not an injury that is going to cause him any trouble or um, hinder too much his, um, his taking part 2.50 left to go Lee and Otgan Batar. Nice group of um, fighters that the Koreans have, have brought over. Would be um, dishonest to say that this was uh, top draw teams from any of the visiting nations. That's not, uh, not the point. I think there are going to be one or two people here. Maybe Yamabe, the Japanese heavy, woman's heavyweight. He looked quite useful. And then yesterday they had uh, one or two. I think um, could hold their own in international competition. Yasumatsu Haruka in the um, under 63 kilo category. He looked pretty good. Maybe... Um, in the under 52 kilo category as well. The Japanese entrant there, Hashimoto Yuki. Those two in particular, I think, um, look good. Jongbo Kyong of uh, Korea, she won the under 48 kilo category. Another one who um, gave a good account of herself. And then Ganbat Bolbata, but he's been around for a, a long time. He lost out to a uh, Dashtava Amatovshin Amatovshin um, beating K 
Kim Won Jin in the final. Both of those, Dash Dava Amatovshin and Kim Won Jin of Korea. They um, showed well. Hashimoto Yuki. Dav Dorsch to Merkeleg fought up at uh, under 66 kilos yesterday, and he's probably going to end up there now. I suppose there'll be a little bit of room when Hashpatar moves out. He may move up to 73 if he continues. He's been around for a long time. And uh, I think Sanjagel Neomocha may be thinking of going up to 81, or I think he might be better served staying at uh, 73. That's probably it for the um, for the ones to look out for. Rodgan Batal really stretching there with that uh, left leg. Couldn't quite get enough um, weight behind the attempt to move Lee just over a minute left to go Um, chair from the adjoining mat because um, Yekmenchik of uh, the Czech Republic was l losing trailing by Yuko and then uh, was held and managed to put Gan Tufshinchagl into uh, Osai Komi Odd seconds left here, though. Lee and Otkan Batar. Golden score period is uh, underway now. Lee and Otgun Batal. And there's also a golden score um, on mat number two. That one um, is continuing there. to a score Lee living dangerously there <laughs> a few people coming back into the uh, into the re arena after the break just a little bit late and they're all rushing in taking their seats not wanting to miss any of the action not least of all because they know that there's uh, got a few Mongolians in the uh, in the medal matches Lee lost contact with the hands there and he picks up a warning 
So the scoreboard now completely symmetrical as far as scores and warnings are concerned. It really is a golden score here. Othgan Batar was close. That was a good effort there. Oh, that was close. Lee really came up with a, a good attack. Just couldn't finish off to put his uh, opponent on any part of the scoring part of the body. Two minutes left to go. Great action. Tension now as the uh, the clock ticks down with a minute 50 odd left to go. Lee attacking strongly with uh, Ochigari. Otgan Batar looking to come back with his own um, leg grab there, but that doesn't come off after he was attacked by uh, Lee, so he could uh, react with that leg grab. Another good effort. He's certainly um, given everything in this fight. A minute 20 odd left to go. Well, Otkan Bata comes up with the winning score. Baljin Yam, the um, Mongolian coach. has a little bit of a smile there not quite sure why that is his man has won and so too on uh, mat number two Gan Tufshin Jago throws Yachemnik of the Czech Republic for uh, for Ripon. So both the bronze medals there going to uh, Mongolia. He sort of reasonably cleverly worked that. Did uh, Otkan 